Hello, all you wonderful people. Pee-pee. People! Oh my god. Oh. Apparently I can't speak today, so perhaps I should just stop the recording and go to bed again. Nah, let's get on with it. If you don't know what map we're on, I'll definitely forgive you. We are on Bayux! There we go. Get some uh, UIs on the field here, and let's introduce the players. In the red, it is... Love Nest playing as America and he is up against Storm Jaeger playing as Obercommander Vest. Now let's see, Storm Jaeger is bringing along with him Grand Defensive fortifications, all right, and special operations. Love Nest, on the other hand, oh, by the way, that's a uh, early first engagement here. By the way, Lovness, Airborne, Heavy Cavalry, and Urban Assault. Hmm. Urban Assault definitely comes with some uh, handy dandy tools. Like um, the incendiary grenade, so you don't have to take grenades for your riflemen. Good push from Lovness, uh, not Lovness, Stormjäger. Getting uh, one of Lovness' chess pieces off the board. Kubelwagner immediately gives chase like a mad dog. But the rear echelon's high fire rate is cutting through the Kubelwagner. He needs to disengage now. Focus was shifted onto the stern pyros. There we go. But now the stern pyros would have unloaded that guy in front. He had to reload. <laughs> Come on. Anywho. Rifleman, good to go again. And more of them are coming out. What is these guys doing? Alrighty then. Loveness getting in around. The stern powers. That's one model down there. Another 30 manpower to reinforce these guys. Getting in close. Storm Jäger, he's gonna lose this engagement here as the riflemen are already up close and yeah, also getting help. Kubelwagen down here continues to remain dangerously in low health and Storm Jäger pushed back. Help is on the way, in one way or another. Reinforcements and medkits. Repairs also coming in. It is just Storm Jäger trying to uh, recover from his uh, <coughs> from his uh, last encounter from uh, Love Nest. Oh, this guy he is still going. Uh, I'm thirsty. Must get. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lovnest has seen fit to make a move onto uh, Stormjäger's cutoff point. At the moment, however, Stormjäger had read Lovnest like an open book and had already sent out forces. Mm, okay, there we go. Extra reinforcements coming in, and that's an easy win here for Stormjäger. Meanwhile, having a duck in up north there, those rear echelons won't stand a chance at getting a getting the northern VP. Oh, Lieutenant just came onto the battlefield here, but I don't believe Lovnest has yet to. G yeah, still no AT snares. That's probably gonna be the last um, push. Of that kind we see from the Kubelwagen, where it just drives into uh, the squad, pushing them away, preventing them from firing their rifle. Should be a win for the Volks Grenadiers here. Yeah, they're just. Yeah, one model down, second one following. Would have followed by now if it weren't for the incoming reinforcements. The lieutenant here trying to get a point. There we go. And now he can proceed into green cover or move in close where the lieutenant submachine gun deals a lot of damage. There is also something special to note about the uh, riflemen in the lieutenant retinue is that they do less damage than a regular rifleman model. However, this lower damage is negated by 
the lieutenant's high damage output up close with his uh, submachine gun here. The Thompson, I believe. Radio. Storm Jaeger. Making another push, not just at the cutoff, but also grabbing uh, the fuel. Kubelwagen having been snared and getting some repairs going. Nicely done. Also has access to the um, detection ability, also known as the legal map hack. As that detection range is huge. huge. Preemptive. Incendiary grenade there, preventing the riflemen from taking green cover, forcing them to stay out in the, the neutral cover. Rifleman here. Oh my god, that fool is standing out in the open. Oh, a little bit back there. Kubelwagen going back and forth. That was a concussion grenade on the rifleman. Doesn't do much damage on its own, but does stun the rifleman, allowing the stern piles to get in real close and do damage. Uh, there were an attempt at cutting off that green cover. Did succeed somewhat. But the Kubelwagen can easily just uh, reverse into that and clear the razor wire. But instead, it's making donuts. <laughs> there we go. The flag half track is out. Lieutenant just managing to get uh, the fuel before. The flak gets unloaded into their backs. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to uh, get someone to help them remove those uh, flak pieces from uh, their back once they get back to base. Speaking of which, Stuart is on the field now as, and it won't probably be long before Lovnest will push out his ambulance now that he's got a light tank on the field. Also, Loveness brandishing the GCS decal here. Angry Chihuahua, it says. Also, Loveness also being the uh, winner of the first GCS GCS championship. So yeah, he can wear it with pride. So can everyone else who also has access to a. Uh, that decal because that means that they supported the, the tournament financially myself included Kubelwagen Kubelwagen hey boys remember me but what's that oh that's rifleman fire but 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 but, but they are not within range to snare the Stormjäger Puts it into reverse and gets the heck out of dodge. Rough men. Focusing down stern powers, but Kubelwagen back at it again here to do a little bit of harassment. Almost up to bed free, and that's when it gets um, the automatic repairs, saving the stern pioneers to spend time uh, having to uh, repair the Kubelwagen. Uh oh, but Red Free, it's not gonna reach Red Free! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Kubelwagen just drove too far. And then the steward was like, I'll take it. Okay. There's a lot of field presence here for uh, Stormjäger. He could also take the time to salvage this while he's decapping. It's five extra fuel laying there. Ha, they're clumped up. Ah, okay. The retreat was called in time. Otherwise, that flag had tracked that could just have done so much damage to them. Ah, oh, there goes the salvage. <laughs> Giving chase, hoping to get another model off here, but the Raketenwerfer is setting up. And Lutnist's 80 senses were tingling. Oh, man, gone down. Nope, 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 nope. Flag half track is like, this is my time to shine. Or not. Yeah, I don't think it would have made a difference if it actually gave chase. 
just meant that Loftness would have drove it in deeper into his own base in order to get the steward repairs in. Loftness clinging on to his fuel here. That's a uh, yeah. That's not the concussion grenade. That's the kind of uh, grenade that burns you. A little bit of green cover has been made available here for Loveness, but not much, actually. And, man, this is a... Uh, this is a rough spot for Michel Loveness, who has well, gone for Airborne Company, getting in the uh, anti-tank drop, man. He needs uh, his AT gun to help get those long-range shots in on, um, on the half-track here, because the steward... This damage output versus uh, the flag half track is quite low so it takes a few shots before uh, actually well a few shot actually takes some shots let's just say it like that to take down the flag half track which means that if the steward is to take down the flag half track it has to either dive catch the flag half track snared or simply have the flag half track completely overextend itself which is uh, unlikely that uh, a skilled player will do that to his flag half track task complete and once again this one goes out and Svara Panzer headquarters is up a little bit forward but Lovnest he doesn't really have any artillery that can hit it he does have the AT gun uh, but it's no 120 millimeter that the Soviets has I do prefer that one when it comes to destroying uh, OKW uh, Sverdepanzer headquarters pinned all right boys back to base also flag have track in need of a little bit of repair here hmm love this they're soon to about to discover a fully operational battle station or in this case it's just a Svara Panzer headquarters not quite the um, planetary destroyer that we have seen in movies <sighs> Doink, doink, still a couple of men in the firing arc. Should be firing at it now, but nope. No vision. No vision given. At least yet. Oh, rear echelon's going in. That's, uh... That must have been a shift queue order from Love Nest. <laughs> that he forgot about. <laughs> Guys, it's it, it's the other way. It's the other way. It, the enemy is is behind you, firing in your back. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Retreat. <laughs> I think that was a little bit of a misclick. Right on. A leak now coming up for Storm Jaeger. Should be able to help out a little bit versus. Um, the 50 cal which by the way another manual reload i think that's the third time i've seen that in action a manual reload my my good incendiary grenade lots of health damage allowing the volks to get in closer now and models are dropping as the assault rifles here or assault gewehrs std stone gewehrs are firing No Panzer Shrek here, but let's see, no, the Rakettenwerfer is retreating back to base, meanwhile these boys are suppressed and rear echelons harassing here, free engagement happening, one there, one there, one up there, and one disengagement coming in, these guys are coming in, trying to save, we have incendiary ammo, oh no, the gunner! The gunner died, allowing uh, this 50 cal here to actually set up and fire on 
that and this got destroyed by the anti-tank gun Stuart checking in Oh uh, yeah, Mox just running and Stormjäger He will be the first one to get out a medium tank Lovnest has yet to get the major on the field, but let's see. No, he's not even on the way huh. But yeah, given uh, how um, Stormjäger's early map control has just been uh, Depriving a lovenest of fuel. Oh, <laughs> that smoke came in the nick of time, saving the Stern Pioneer squad. All right, that Panzer IV can't come soon enough. Barred riflemen can't really tell if it's okay, it's double bars on this squad. Oh, no, 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 no! Close. Close call. The League might have a shot at getting some kills since they are kind of clumped up there, but it, of course, means that the League has to hit. Uh, Panzer 4 on its way. Hold fire! We wanted to manually target the, the clumped up riflemen rather than this one here. A little bit of micro skills there from Stormjäger. Oh, going in here to the fire again. This could be a dead rifleman squad. Two models. Ah, they may just make it, yeah. Meanwhile, these rear echelons are getting closer to getting free... Well, not free men, but free stars. Allowing them to have an extra man. Also, Storm Jaeger pushing the anti lovenist ability button. Causing great distress for lovenist as he definitely... Hates this ability here. And yoink, that's a steal. But there was another 80 gun. And will we see some action here from the steward? Some rear armor shots, perhaps? Maybe? Oh, he's gotta be careful now. Oh, Raketen got its fire. Another shot. Down it goes. Lost the. Uh, the AT gun up there, the M1. Riflemen are just pouring out of the base now, trying to clean house. And thus, Loveness has just saved his M1 anti-tank gun. Radio silence lifted, and Loveness can begin to calm down as he once again has Intel on the minimap and tag map. These guys over here could get down some sandbags, but I don't think they'll be able to do so in time because the cavalry has arrived. Oh no, there are no sandbags! We're getting shot at! Oh boy. Yeah, green cover versus light. Plus, these boys have bars. Yeah, they're not gonna take that engagement. Or actually, they will if this one guy continues to fire at them without getting return fire on. <laughs> Okay, that's a little too much! That's a little too much, guys! Yeah. Right, Panzer IV, almost fully repaired. On the VP sides, kinda even, a small lead for Stormjäger, but not for long. There we go, equal, and Loveness continues to bleed Stormjäger with the triple cap in effect now. Oh, Panzer IV, headshot. Not headshot, but hitch shot. Let's see, we have the anti tank guns trying to do some damage to the Panzer IV, but no luck. A second league. <sighs> if only the league were powerful enough that you only needed one of them. Anywho. With two eighty guns and two fifty cals, it's no big surprise that Stormjäger actually 
wants the amount of indirect fire that he is pouring onto the field now. Another! Another silent slothness button has been clicked. Uh, man, love. Oh, this is a bit of deja vu. AT gun has been dropped, but. Uh, yeah, this is gonna get destroyed here. Or. Oh, okay, 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 okay. One more shot required! Woo! I'll have that. Not quite the deja vu as we um, expected. And look at this lovely love nest. It's now bringing out the major. Hello, major. Get on the field. And let us just see where he is going. Will he supervise? I think. No, that's the captain who can do that. I was just thinking of using supervise onto this and pushing out some tanks, but nope. No captain available. <clears throat> What was that? Sound? Whoop, whoop, whoop. That sounded weird. Hmm. Rock. Oh, 50 cal goes bye bye. Yeah, way too much for them to handle. They were just getting shot from, well, not every angle, but, you know, their entire face got shot off by the amount of fire that actually uh, hit them. I'll take this. Thank you very much, said Storm Jaeger. Hmm. Loveness, he's not far away from a Sherman. Unless he wants to go for the Scott and rely on... ...on his 80 guns to hold the fort in terms of fighting off armor. And then just use the Scott to fight infantry and the leaks. By the way, it takes roughly six barrages from a, a uh, Scott to destroy a uh, forward Sverdepanzer headquarters. Requires a little bit more for a uh, battle group headquarters and the mechanized regiment as they have more health than the Sverdepanzer headquarters. I think it's 500 health difference between the Svera and uh, the other two. Emplacements for the Opel Commander Vest. Oh yeah, 50 cal. It's like, can I see your building permit? Get your permit right here, said Storm Jaeger, as he pours smoke in the face of the 50 cal. I'll just be sitting up right here because, well, because I can. Meaning that Love Nest has to go all around here in order to flank because this is blocked off. Something I do dislike. I would wish it was open so we, so it would be easier to flank an HMG sitting here rather than having to go over on this side of the bush, which is usually occupied by the opponent. So that's why I would have loved if there was a sneak path here for infantry to sort of sneak in and behind a potential uh, heavy machine gun sitting here oh Sherman getting upgrades oh my god you're on high explosive shells okay now he died that was a direct hit on one of the models okay they're, they're dropping now they're dropping now it's not fair you're supposed to play dead I hit you uh -uh. Right, double leaks, one kill, two kills. By the way, the Major, he has seen a bit of action. He's hurt. He's about to be hurt a lot more because it is the Command Panther here. Bro, wake up, it's 2017. The Command Panther is back at it again. 
having won great favor again amongst the Oba Commando Vest players after Jibber have reminded the players just how uh, good of a tank it actually is. It also comes with the um, coordinated fire, which um, does two completely different things according to the tooltips. According to this one here, it says improved accuracy against a single target, but the tooltip that uh, is applied to um, to the opponent's tank says it takes increased damage. So I'm like, well, what is it? Is it greater accuracy or greater damage? <sighs> but nevertheless, still a ability that you should use. Especially if you're up against Soviets who has access to the mark target ability. So, you know, giving some of their own medicine right back at them. Um, grenade. Ah, oh, running into the fire there. Cannot advise that. As your doctor, I would advise you against walking into fire. And the Sherman coming in once again. Looks like it got a good hit on the the Raketenwerfer there. It actually starting to rack up kills now. Almost ten. And wet one. So it won't really be able to benefit from uh, vet one as it needs another friendly vehicle nearby in order to gain access to the uh, radio network. But another vehicle is uh, definitely in the works. It is the M8A1 Scott self propelled howitzer. I don't know why, but somehow it just rolls off your tongue easier than one would expect m8a1 scott self-propelled howitzer hmm. <clears throat> second raketen word for coming out for storm Jaeger. 75 millimeter gun carrier ready 75 millimeter gun carrier Well, this Sherman here is uh, gonna need a some bigger uh, armor-piercing rounds to take care of the, the Command Panther, that's for sure. Also notice how Loveness continues to keep the uh, Sherman on high explosive shells, because the chances of uh, the Sherman here penetrating uh, the frontal armor of the Panther is um, quite low, so he is rather c allowing it well not allowing but relying on his um m1 anti-tank guns to deal with the panther and then have the sherman and scott deal with infantry and look at that range that's just so long so long so long alligator it's been a while crocodile now if the scott just could hit something that would be even better feeling like a tennis match going back forth back and forth only this time the opponent cannot use a racket to throw the shell back into the face of the opponent Well, we do have um, Vet 3 rear echelons here and Vet 5 stern bios, so not bad. Oh, AT guns caught out of positions. The soup boys have to do. Oh, so is there any smoke? No, no. Oh, it missed. It missed. It missed. Good, 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 good. And now it has access to concealment smoke. Just could have used that before, but okay. It got lucky. Sherman. Almost 20 kills. And thus, it's soon up to Vet 2, where it can navigate the battlefield with ease as fire the main gun more frequently. So. Oh boy, this is a dead Sherman. Here comes the killing blow. It's, it's just the Raketans. They, they fire fast.
Now what? Said Lovnist. He's getting another Scott. <laughs> I'm not so sure that that's a good idea. Because I'm not so sure that the, um, the AT guns along with bazookas will be enough to deal with the Command Panther along with the next tank Storm Jaeger will bring to the battlefield. Which is could just be a Panzer IV, but man, that Scott, man. Almost took care of the 50 cal. But it got other targets right in front of it. Come on, auto attack. Ah. Kind of hard to hit them whenever they're moving. So yeah, Storm Jaeger, he can ill afford to stand still. Getting one of us once again. Here it is. If he uses smoke now, he'll block line of sight for the AT guns. Look at how little damage the Panther took. Yup, I'm back. Fix her up. And vet five here. Man. That speedy repair is alright. And even they are harder to hit while repairing. Oh god. Oh no. Here is the dead Scott. And Panther barely took any damage. And now, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. He might lose his vet too. No, it's good. It's good. Still good. But he needs to get it healed and reinforced. He losing uh, this one here is... Man, please don't. Don't do that. Ah. Oh, Love Nest. It's just like, yeah. The writing's on the wall. Playback over. Though I still think he had a shot. Definitely, I mean, if you uh, could get out the um, the Jackson, if you, or even just in a retrospective, have gotten out the Jackson instead of this here. Oh well, Storm Jaeger broke Lovnest mentally and takes the victory. Well, that's it for this time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you already haven't. Hint, hint, not, not, yes, yes, mm, mm, mm. Uh, dislike the video if you disliked it. Hint, hint, yes, yes, not, not. On second thought, uh, well, just do it if you really disliked it. Anywho, I'll see you next time. Unless you want to dive into the stats that I got here. And here they are. Don't forget to pause if there's anything that you want to further study. <coughs> Kind of even match between the two of them. Resource flow. Mm -hmm. Points held. Early domination from Storm Jaeger. Loveness takes over and then it becomes a little bit of swinging down here. Units for the players. Major didn't do a whole lot of damage. Also died. <laughs> oh well. So, yeah. And let's check out Storm Jaeger. Storm Jaeger. Command Panther, Panther 4, Flak Half Crack, Kubelwagen. Kubelwagen is dead. Molks Grenadiers. Yeah. Anywho, that's it. See you. Bye bye.